Are they home? <laughs> it's funny, like, I don't see them at first, and it always makes me nervous. <laughs> but they're there. <laughs> Hello, guys. How's it going? You guys doing all right today? <sighs> Getting ready? Yep. There, we got a full battery. <laughs> I never can't get over my grandmother saying battery instead of battery. We're gonna suck up some high beetles, dang it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it works better. Did you put a bunch in there? I think it did. Packed it pretty good. Did we, I guess we tested our tape, didn't we? Yeah, it worked okay. Boards are really shrinking up. Look, hmm. I'm gonna have to push these all the way down and replace replace this last one. So, Barrett, you think we're gonna find any high beetles? Did we win the battle already? I don't think so. <laughs> That'd be boring, wouldn't let's it? Let's see. Let's not cover up all of our tools. Hey guys, let's lay these guys right over here. Maybe what we should do, that was a black ant. Yeah. Maybe mm. what we should do is go ahead and fire up the vacuum. Okay, so are we ready, Barrett? Mm-hmm. Oh, high beetles there. What I'm expecting to see is high beetles on this. Motel. Yeah, and wherever the bees are, I'm expecting to see. What the heck? I don't see any high beetles. Not yet. You got a bee on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a little smoke here. You got a bee on you, Dad. Where? You had them on your hand. That's no big deal. They're getting pretty interested. Yeah, let's set this over here. <laughs> That might make more sense now, doesn't it? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so there, let's take this frame out. See where we are. This is our last frame. But have they made any more progress? They haven't really made any progress on this one. I don't see, I haven't seen one high beetle. I haven't either. You reckon I scared them off? I'm glad there's no high beetles, but dang, I was thinking we'd have a little bit of a video. Yeah. Whoa, he's got like some yellow pollen, on him. Pollen or something. Interesting. You see, this frame is, this frame is pretty much drawn well, not that side. All right, so what I'm going to do is, uh, Open this part of hive up. I'm just gonna lay these lay this board over here so it's not to pick them all out. Well that's a good number of bees in it. Mm-hmm. Oh dad, they're all over the place over here. Okay. Oh all right, my okay. gosh. Alright, so look, look here. You see, I got him. Got one. Got another one. The bees are chasing them over to my tube. Can you see the end of my hose? 
Yeah. See him going up in there? Right there. Got him. Look, watch him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Hmm. That was cool. But <laughs> See how they herd them into one spot? Yeah. So you think there's a bunch of, you think there, do you see any over there? I don't see any. No, not like over here. They've always kind of hung out over here for whatever reason. Yeah. Bees. Now, with that many bees on there, there shouldn't be any high bills, but it's possible, obviously. I'm trying to move little bees. I don't want to set that down on them. Wouldn't that be neat if I don't think we've moved that one in a while. Whoa, there's a string of them. A string of what? A string of bees from one frame to Oh, them. look. Let me see the camera. That's pretty neat how they're stringing together. Isn't it? That is. When you got that low light like that, you got to stick the camera down in there. Okay. That's cool. There's one. Got him. You know, I got him when I smushed him. What I wouldn't mind seeing is the queen. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh! Look right here. Uh oh! Is that a bee? Is that a queen? Uh, bring my bob. Bring the camera in close. Where's that? Right here. I know. Oh. I see it. I'm trying to find it on the camera. Oh, there it is. It looks like a queen cell to me. Shoot. All right. Let me. I'm going to have to get Derek uh, to come back and check these out. They seem to be almost too docile to me. I hope we haven't gone queenless. I'd like to find a queen now. After seeing that queen, what I think is a queen sound. Yeah. One thing I don't see either is a lot of honey. I don't see any honey anywhere. You know what I mean? It's like they It's like they're using up all their honey. So I don't think we have a hive beetle problem, but I'm wondering if we have a queen, a missing queen problem. That was a queen cell, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes yeah. they, they build the hive all weird like that though, right? No. He's already he's already off you dead. He's on my hat. Oh shoot. Okay, we need to put the hive back together because he stung he stung my hat. Now I'm worried that we're queenless. All right, B, this is the no-fly zone. Go. Go. <laughs> I don't know why we have so many. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. 
Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna try to smoke him out, right? There he goes. Aha, got him. Got him out, not got him. <laughs> uh, Let's see. See him crawling around in there? I did see him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him? Uh, um, I'm gonna tape up the hole. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I don't want them crawling out. What I, what I don't want to do, I don't want to open this here. I'm going to take it home and open it because if they fly out, then they can go to somebody else's bee, beehives to mine. I don't know of any beehives around me, so they'll probably die. Um, so let's uh, let's take them home and maybe we'll, we'll suck up some diatomaceous earth in there and see if that'll kill them. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to suck up in the vacuum that's hopefully going to kill whatever hive beetles are in there. Apparently what this will do is two things. It will dry out the insects uh, exoskeleton and it's really sharp as uh, apparently to them <laughs> uh, if we were the size of a hive beetle it would be very uh, abrasive to them so it can kind of scar open their exoskeleton and then dry them out. So I don't think it's going to kill them right away, not necessarily, but if they fly out after they've been exposed to this stuff, they should die. So let's just turn it on here. Cool. Let's see if we got us a high beetles. Yep. Can you see them? Oops, I see them moving. All right, so let's see if we can get something light colored to dump them out on. <laughs> There's the ant I got. So um, I'm just gonna dump them in the grass because uh, I don't want them in the back of my truck. Let's see if I can get a few close-ups. At this point, I really don't care. I probably should squish them all, but I have a feeling they're going to die after being exposed to that diatomaceous earth. You can see it's on them. They had they had to breathe it in. So here's one. You can see they were really black. See how they're kind of dusted with it now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I had to take Barrett home. He had to go do drum lessons. Uh, he had a couple of students he was teaching today. So I just wanted to show you the part where I emptied the, <laughs> the vac. And it's getting ready to rain. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Nice.